crafting. That's the beauty of crafting. You can just do what you want because nobody is going to say otherwise because there's no rules. If there are no rules, there is freedom. Where there is freedom, there is creativity. Remember that. Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is safe and well. Just want to spend 30 seconds to say thanks to every single one of you. So big, big thank you from me to you guys. Uh, sorry, I'm just putting some um, birds bees. Favourite ever. Um, thank you to the new subscribers um, that have recently joined the channel. And also thank you to every single one of you that's following this journey with me since day one that keep leaving me lovely comments thumbs up and all your support is always always much appreciated and i know i don't say it in every single video but i should and i really really mean it so thank you for everything that you guys do right today i want to play with some well some one i made one masterboard so what is a masterboard masterboard is a page that you decided to collage or you can hand print, has stamp, color it, do painty papers and do layering of things. You can do anything that you like. This page here, I want to leave it like that. So what I did when I was little, just before college time, I um, collected some stamps. Uh, so they are replica or uh, stamps from around the world. And me and my mum, well, my mom because she paid for it so they um my mom and dad paid for these stamps and i had a big collection at home in uh, in in italy back in italy and of course when me and my brother left um home my mom put all my belongings and all my brother's belongings into big boxes and she told me said oh did you know that you got some stamps last time we went um last year i was like oh no i totally forgot so last time we came i got some um some stamps with me because i couldn't carry loads because i had loads of like pasta and <laughs> lots of nice food from italy um so i'm getting out as i go like w when we're gonna go i'm gonna get some more back um, so i've got um these few bags of lovely stamps from all around the world and they're all like very different in size and all that jazz so i thought let's do a masterboard so i was watching youtube some videos um so i was gluing it along and that is the result i l absolutely love it um so what am i gonna do what i wanted to do is to create some like rectangular envelopes to fit in my journal so we finished one side so we're, now we're gonna start all over again so you saw me doing the um, these bands in the beginning of the week. So I want to do some envelopes to put, not like, not like traditional envelopes, more like a little pocket, fold that pocket um, to pop in in there. So I already measured it. So this is a, a international standard A4, which is 21 by 29.7 centimeters, which in inches should be eight by 11. Uh, eight and a quarter by eleven and a half, so more or less, more or less, not far off. Um, so that's the size. And with this size, I'm gonna get three sort of envelopes, and then we're just gonna have a little, um, a little strips there. So I'm just going to cut it so it's completely, completely dry, and I'm not using my best scissors for this because. There might be some glue uh, residue and you know this scissor here they've got lots of sticky things so that they, they like my bad scissor if it makes sense so make sure when you do cut your um your master board just use things that they're not really good but you can make this out of everything you can do collage with pictures you can color it you can use acrylic paints um, you can use gesso and you can use collage and then paint on top it, it literally can do anything you like absolutely anything and that's the beauty of crafting you can just do what you want because nobody is gonna say otherwise because there's no rules if there are no rules there is freedom where there is freedom there is creativity remember that so 
Oh, they're really pretty. It's actually prettier than I thought it would be. And then we've got this. I can probably make myself a watch. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, in fact, I've got... I don't think it's going to fit. No, it's too big. Uh, that's going to go on my... Um, in my scrap box. So, um, in my head, I... Yeah, probably this size. Yeah. So, all you do is simply fold it. And then fold it on top of it. So yeah, just like these little pockets, like envelopes, pockets like that. Um, where's my bone folder? Uh, you know I've got this issue with my camera that if I do random noises or movements, it shakes. But also I want it to be more like an um, on a corner sort of shape. So when I'm trying to random it, like create like a run a corner round corner didn't really do a great job but you can leave it square but i do like envelopes that got round corners oh yeah perfect so one do two i'm learning this year it's all about tidy up as i got along so when i finish i don't have a lot of um a lot to clean up to do. I'm kind of like measuring. I want them to be the same, but they won't be identical because it's all, you know, the, uh, yeah, so I need to glue that back down. That might happen guys, especially if you use, I mean, I use them stamps, they're absolutely tiny, but if you use small ephemera or any like small pictures, they might peel off, but be of glue and then back to, where they belong. Oh, we got Lady Die there. Bless her. Rest in peace. So, just going to round up again. Again, I'm not the best person, but if you, I haven't got, well, I do have the envelope punch board, and the envelope, envelope punch board has that corner round thing. I simply can't be bothered to get up and get it. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's two. And then do the third. They're not very straight. I've not done a really good job, have I? But never mind. Never mind. So, again, enforce that fold. this one there yeah they're literally pretty much the same size am i too yeah let's zoom in um what is it there so we're going to trying to round the corners you might be better at that than i am but you get the gist done so what we're going to do what i want to do um i want to ink them up just to give that extra vintage look um yeah that's so much better already i can see it so yeah so i hope you guys having a good week and ready for the weekend I'm actually working Saturday and Sunday. I work alternate Saturday and Sunday. So I have weekend in and weekend off, weekend in and weekend off. It's the joy of working in retail. But it is what it is for now. It would do. So. Yeah, so that's one. And then we do this side there as well. And Jamie, Jamie's actually off this weekend. Not on purpose, because we normally try to have the same weekend off. In the very, very beginning, when I started working in retail, I hated working on weekend. But actually, I don't mind it now. Because when I'm off during the week, if I had to do like go to the bank or go to the post office or whatever I have to do, I um, I, I find it easier because it's, it's less busier than if you go off, if you go, like if we go in for, I don't know, a weekend or 
Um, if I, no, not that in Gizem. If we're going for like a mini break for a couple of days, we're going to York or Lincoln or for like a mini break. If we go during the week, it's quieter because there's not kids around. Um, so it's always better than if you go on the weekend. I want that piece of tranquility. You won't see that because we're going to glue it down, but I'm just going to ink them up a bit. So, yeah. So I have a question for you guys. So as I mentioned in a previous video, we are finalizing this house. So getting a lot of mini work that is left to do, trying to do it this year. When we bought this house, this house was a huge project. So it was owned by um, a very, very old couple. And they went to a home and the kid, well, the couple's kids kind of neglected the house. It was in a really bad state. Um, it's a big house. It's a three bedrooms house. Um, we bought it. Oops. We bought it. Oh, we bought it because me and Jamie have a very. We like, of course, vintage, like antique sort of things. We don't like modern houses. And this house has that sort of feel. If you watch the videos that I made downstairs in, so you can see my living room, like for instance, the Christmas video that all of you guys loved, uh, you can see that style on the fireplace, like stone fireplace. And then we put, we, there was carpets everywhere. There was carpets in the bathroom as well. <laughs> uh, but apparently I find that, cause I didn't know, cause we don't have carpets in Italy. It's more like a British thing uh, to keep the house warm. Um, so, Yes, yeah, so there was carpet everywhere, so we ripped that off. I might just chop this away. Um, so we put literally everything we've done. We rewired the house. Uh, we um, rewired it, just put new boiler, new heating. Every radiator is brand new. We put a new floor, replastered, got rid of this awful, awful wallpaper. I mean, I absolutely love win vintage wallpaper. But the one it was here, it wasn't definitely wasn't cool. Um, so we literally rip everything off apart and start again. So this house is everything in here is brand new, brand new heater, everything, um, boiler, floor, rewired, new switch. What do you call it with the lights? Whatever it's called. Um, the kitchen is brand new. Uh, we got new appliances, new dishwasher, new everything. Literally, guys, everything is new. The only thing that we didn't do is the exterior of the house. So we got, um, hopefully by the time you watch this video, we will have the two from, well, the front door and the back door changed. Um, and also, well, that's Jamie's job. Um, kind of like spent some time in the garden to make it look nicer. But also, I want to ask you guys if you have an experience with like doing the property up because we want to sell this house. Um, so we want to try to make as much money as possible. So when we probably have a small mortgage or might not have either a mortgage when we are in Italy. Um, can I just ask if anybody or any of you know or has a husband or partner or son in the property sort of sector? If repointing a house will add value or not, because we're just having some quotes. Wow, to repoint a house is about 10 grand. Um, because it's a big house, uh, it's going to cost us a lot. Um, so we're just trying to collect some feedback. We're going to ask a letting agent to come and have a look at the house and see what they think. But to get in, you know, to spend 10 grand, um, I don't know if it's, I don't know if full will add any value or not. Um, so if you guys have any experience, let me know, please. Um, because, I'm, again, we were trying to, you know, to, to make the most of it. Okay, so I've done the eyelets. I'm actually getting better with this uh, eyelets setting situation. Um, so me and my crocodile, we 
becoming friends with time it's all about a bit of practice to be fair so yes yeah, so i put the eyelets and on here i've got um just a bit of craft paper uh, this is for stamping up this is a one inch uh, punch and then what you do is just simply punch a little piece of card and then pull the brad and that will help you with the twine now so don i have used the hot glue gun i got the one for Sizzix and i got the little plate so you can rest your glue gun as well and that's silicon so that help with the glue not to make a mess anyway so that's the little pouches done so that's one that's two and that's the third okay again very very simple just a bit of fun a bit of lace a bit of stamps but you can make this with any sort of scraps that you have right guys thank you ever so much for watching today if you like this video please consider to give me a really big 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 thumbs up because i will support the video and the channel thank you so much for watching guys and until next time stay safe and well